This is like a jungle with briars. I use the term fun very loosely today. Well, the kids found a way to get to the riverbank. <laughs> the masterpiece of rigged up fencing there. That's actually a nice little book. Checking the insulators to make sure they're okay. Make sure the wire's in the insulator. So when we pull it, it'll be good. This is like a jungle with briars. That one is, is it broke? Yeah, I guess we need to replace that one. coming out. Ugh. I use the term fun very loosely today. We're all a little hot and bothered right now. He was pulling it up from the dirt and we were trying to pull to keep it tight and I just realized I reckon that's all poison ivy and I reckon I'll be covered all in it. Yay. Putting on what's called a tightener. This is where the fence broke, so we're joining together. The two ends that broke with this new piece. Just a minute, you know, <laughs> and it takes several hands to get it all done. And this is the once in a blue moon Lawrence wears gloves. down the line. the kids found a way to get to the riverbank. <laughs> That's good. 
Okay, we're going to set another post. And all, all of the sticky weeds are finding me. I was just complaining saying I'm just frustrated because it's happened more than once and it seems like it probably happened again. He said yeah, probably so. But he was saying the bright side is that it's only one strand of fence, not five, and it's not barbed wire. So yeah. This time he found the silver lining. Let that be known. Ooh, it's just hot down here today y'all and I've been a little flustered a couple times kids were fussing now they're playing and they're fine it's all good Claire got too close to the back of tires she almost got run over and that didn't settle well with me <laughs> it's always something um, but anyway we're getting this done we're almost done we are I can see the end kind of sort of in sight it's not bad in the shade. Do you hear them? Do you hear them splashing? They got a nice little beach right there. It's better than the place we usually go. Usually where we go, there's a lot of rocks and I have to worry about the current taking them away, but this is like a little pool on the edge. So, it's good. That breeze feels good. It just doesn't look like we're gonna get anything. It looks like everything's going around us. Cloud-wise and rain-wise. All right, so he's pulling this by hand. He's way down there at the end. And my job is to stand here and not not let it kink. It's my job, so here's hoping I can do my job. I thought I heard one. Trying to find the cows. Well, they're on the dark spots right down there. Turn them in. Well, Figured they were down in the uh, woods somewhere. Normally, if we're in that field working, they're at the gate trying to get through. But today, they're not. children it's time to go home you made a tunnel pipe tunnel sand pipe <laughs> okay they made some kind of hole in the water and it comes back around and comes back into the river don't lose your new crock <laughs> all right let's head to the house river rats time when you walk inside and you you feel something hopping around in your leg and you're afraid it's something that's going to sting you so you throw your boot off and you let out a little grasshopper oh well if you'll be still i'm gonna take you outside i'll save you okay go be free you can leave me now you're free tell him to go go Yes, he was in my pant leg. That was interesting. Day two fence work. Hmm. Yeah, this looks suspicious. 
They've been getting out of this field. So we hadn't been using it for a while, can you tell? But we need to turn some in here so they can eat this Johnson grass down. Happy day. At least we're in the shade with all the ticks, right? <laughs> liable to find a few ticks or liable a few ticks might find us. And today is not high tinsel. Today is barbed wire. Favorite, not my favorite. Hmm, more chopping going on. So these are all tangled up. We got them mostly untangled, I think. <laughs> I'm doing my job. Notice in this tree and all of its uh, scars, all of its barbed wire scars. Hmm. But it's still standing strong and tall, healthy. And since we've been talking about trees the last couple of videos, this is a beech tree. I have to ask him what they all are because I can never get them memorized. He knows every single tree. He really does. We need to get... The kids know more than I do. He's taught them well. I'm just a little slower. Or... I mean, I don't know if I'm slow. I just have a hard time soaking it in. Focusing. What do you call that thing? Just a stretcher? Wire stretcher, yeah. I've showed this before and several people commented about it. They'd either hadn't seen one in a long time or they had used one before, or they wanted to know what it was, or how you made it, or where you got it. Moving on down the line. Hmm. <laughs> opportunity. That's a word for my sales days. My boss liked to call what I would normally call a problem an opportunity. So we have an opportunity to, to uh, stop cows from having the opportunity to escape. That's what we're doing. Where are y'all going? <laughs> Puppies took off. right pretty view right here this one was an easy fix I just held the wire up to the tree while he hammered it on didn't have to do all the stretching and stuff and the beat goes on and the beat goes on <laughs> Sure looks like it might rain, but hey, I've said that the last three days. What's the matter? What he was saying is there's another place down. Um, assuming the deer are running through here, because cows aren't doing it. They're probably not doing all this. So, that's fun. can't get out of it. It's everywhere. There's a mess everywhere. The majority of our perimeter fence is barbed wire. Most of our dividing fence, that's what I call it, is high tensile. And he's saying he really needs to just put one strand of high tensile around this field, around this pasture, to keep from having to deal with all this all the time. It's just old and whatever you fix today, Needs fixing again tomorrow. For this little piece, he cut off another piece and he stringed it between these, holding these three together. All sorts of chips. 
all sorts of tips. No, that's the word I'm looking for. All sorts of tricks. That's what I'm trying to say. It's really like it's like a masterpiece, babe. A masterpiece of rigged up fencing there. Yeah, it's like the Van Gogh of make him do with what he's got to make do. <laughs> I think we missed that chance. Look at the sky now. Clear blue. Ah. Oops, that's a mess. I'm not trying to break it, but it won't stay up. That's all I'm saying. It's thundering over there. This thing going around us again. Mm. Shucks. So these big trees came down with Hurricane Michael back in the eight, 18. We're gonna see what picking this stick up does. It helps. Mm. Uh, got a little twistage right here, though. You want me to try to untwist this? It's getting close. This is the end of the line for this field. <laughs> we made it. What, babe? Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to look at anything else. <laughs> Alrighty then. So there's some thunderheads building up. Yeah, there is. I thought whatever was coming is already gone. Maybe, maybe we got another shot. Those things are like really, really building. Give me a kiss it. You better give me a kiss it. You know all you stash for fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Woodrow, the weather station. We really need you to collect some rain. You could just get on that. <laughs> I'm ready to do something else tomorrow besides fencing. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. Are you hot and bothered? I'm bothered and hot. You're bothered and hot, not hot and bothered. <laughs> That's actually a nice little book. Stop. Sick, Paula. Let me see. Bunny. We're going on a little dusk crop check. So this is corn he planted recently. I mean, when did he plant it? Two weeks? Mm -hmm. First of June. He sprayed last week, this past weekend. Anyway, Roundup and then nitrogen. So the grass is dying and the green is the green is growing. The corn is growing and getting green. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. We just saw about six deer run out of this field. There's deer all out in this field too. Martin said they about eat it up. See that white flag? Can't see it. Mm. Yeah, we don't know why. Things just didn't come up good down here. So he's gonna come down here and cut this for hay. It's a lot of Johnson grass. 